Hi everybody, it's Cynthia and I am here to show you just a small portion in what will probably be one of several videos um, showing a haul that we picked up related to the Queen Mary. <clears throat> and it's funny because I have a Queen Mary mug on my desk that sits there all the time, my favorite mug. My husband wears a Queen Mary hat. Um, I kind of didn't even realize we were that attached to the Queen Mary. Um, part of it is because we're big Poseidon fans and you'll see something fun in here. And part of it is just because it just represents that, you know, era of old Hollywood um, that we just really adore. Lots of TV shows were filmed there, too, so that's cool. Anyway, we bought a huge collection from a man who was a collector of, for looks like most of his life, belonged to the Queen Mary Club. Most of what we got was newspaper clippings, um, carefully cut out and glued together and, and a paper clipped together from the early 60s on through. We haven't even gotten through half of it. And this is just some of the other items that we dug out of the boxes. Some fun items, um, some older items, newer items, and uh, letters that keep popping out that are kind of crazy. So I'm going to kind of fast go through some of this really fast. A lot of this we will have um, on sale on our eBay site, uh, Boris Basement. If you're interested or leave me a comment um, below if you're interested in any of these items. As I said, some of them are for sale, some not. I'll try to let you know. Starting with one that's not for sale, let's begin with that, is this Poseidon Adventure postcard. Yes, they actually made a postcard showing them shooting the scene on the Queen Mary. This is the scene um, where everyone is gathering for Gene Hackman, uh, his first sermon on the ship. Um, and I think that might actually be Hackman back there. Uh, and um, everybody's getting ready. They got lights, camera, action. So cool. Uh, we didn't even know this existed. We collect all kinds of Poseidon Adventure stuff, so this was a really fun find that we didn't expect. So that one we're keeping. Um, another postcard. Model building, ship building. Not sure why we're not focusing well. Uh, Queen Mary Long Beach. Um, sorry, I'm still trying to keep this sharp. Not sure why it's not doing that. These are stickers, really cute from the uh, 80s, very puffy, sort of 80s look, Queen Mary, Long Beach, California, and an even puffier, cute Queen Mary Spruce Goose sticker that you could pick up. Uh, the Spruce Goose airplane was um, at the Queen Mary for, I don't know how long, but a number of years before it was removed. I don't know where it is now. This is a very interesting card, postcard, that shows... Um, a museum of military, uh, the Great Goose exhibits on the Queen Mary shipwalk depicting the ship's service as a troop ship. So these are the um, sort of dioramas they have set up as part of the ship's history that you can see. Very cool. I've also never seen that postcard. I have a lot of Queen Mary postcards and it's not these. That um, is uh, the Spruce Goose Dome. I've got several of those. And here's another angle on that with the actual plane where you can see the actual plane coming in. Uh, February 1982, Spruce Goose being prepared for final move into her new home. Kind of cool. Um, oop, another one of those. Long Beach Harbor, a postcard from a little bit further out. So you can see the queen in the background, several of those. Uh, another Queen Mary Spruce Goose. Exhibit photo from a little bit different angle. Again, all postcards. Sweet pink postcard of the Queen Mary lit up at night. I think we saw one of those. Uh, this is a hotel postcard that shows what the hotel looks like. We've actually always wanted to stay there. Uh, it's an interesting experience. It's supposed to be haunted and all of that. And someday it's on my bucket list of things to do. I really would like to stay over one night, at least, on the Queen Mary. Um, I don't know, the ship doesn't actually go anywhere. It's permanently docked. It's just, and they've turned it into a hotel and a tourist attraction. Here's uh, the ship's captain and a dog. Why, what's with the dog? Captain John Gregory, 33rd captain of the Queen Mary, with his dog, Happy. There he is, with his dog, Happy. Um, forgive the coming in and out. I've got a new phone here. I'm just learning how to use it. Another lovely Queen Mary at night. 
shot. I don't know why this thing is not focusing on its own. I'm going to try it coming up a little bit higher. Maybe that will give us a better view. Another Queen Mary at Night postcard. Uh, different. This is a very popular style of postcard when I visited here in the 80s, late 80s. Uh, so I imagine that's when this one's from. I don't know if it says, but again, Spruce goes down, so we know it is. A general greetings from California that has the picture of the Queen Mary on it. I said this guy counted everything. It had even the slightest mention of Queen Mary. He grabbed it. Another postcard. Uh, different cuts. Um, this is cool. This is a replica obviously of an old postcard. Huh? Actually the postcard seems kind of old itself. A beautiful old painting of the Queen when she was still sailing. Another photo of her out at sea. Uh, a copy of that one. Another, this is actually a card. It says greetings. Uh, another beautiful painting for the Queen when she was out. Unusual postcard with I don't know what the name for that is. Sorry, I don't know enough of my maritime to explain what that is, but full steam ahead and all of that. Another nighttime giant oversized postcard. Another nighttime from a slightly different angle. And here's Long Beach and 4th of July. This is a map of Long Beach. We found a lot of maps from different eras. This, this, this one is more of a, let me see if I can come up again a little bit. Like I said, learning to work with this new phone. This is a fold out, like a local touristy kind of fun map. It's glossy, so sorry for the glare. Oh my gosh, facts at a glance. This is a Long Beach, um, just quickie things about Long Beach, a Long Beach map from 1986. Uh, Long Beach Chamber of Commerce. I don't even see, it's like crazy. I don't get what some of this is. Telephone dialing information. So this, oh, onboard dialing, look at that. This is a little uh, booklet they would give you when you're in the hotel to uh, with addresses and then Disneyland mentioned at the back. So that's terribly old again, probably from the 80s. Lots of different more the group Mary Queen Passport. Woo. Queen Mary Spruce Goose. <laughs> That's an interesting logo. Um, that was a letter from the Auto Club. Queen Mary Tour envelope. If you wanted to tour the Queen Mary with your group, there's a brochure. I like this one because it's got this super deco look to the booklet photos from the Queen Mary's earlier days. This is a cool little piece. We actually had a couple of these. Um, so the Queen Mary came to Long Beach on December 9th, 1967, and it docked apparently at 1106. By 1107, the news had spread all around the world thanks to Bell uh, General Telephone. And here's all the operators and people that are getting the, the word out. And this was published by General Telephone. General Telephone put out a couple of different booklets um, commemorating the, the delivery of the Queen Mary to Long Beach. That's a real special one. And this one is uh, just someone's sort of story about it. Oh, it talks about the accident she had. It's sort of like a little history of the Queen Mary. We had several of those in here. Uh, Queen Mary Passport. This was another deco piece, I think from the 80s, oh, 79 almost, that lists uh, things that you could do on the Queen if you visited. Um, oh, we're getting long hair. Let me show you a couple of things really quickly. Uh, this is an old PSA brochure, a couple of travel lodge, other, these are just like tour brochures. I don't think these are that cool. Um, there's a brochure with the ghosts and legends of the Queen Mary. That's the mug that I have that I adore. So that's kind of fun to find. More brochures, more brochures. Um, Ben's Family Restaurant. It's a takeout menu. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, because they make 
fish and chips in the style from with malt vinegar from the Queen Mary. Look at that. Um, so I think I might pass. Oh my gosh, there's just so many brochures and maps and things like that. Let's get these out of the way. Show you a couple other quick things. This the last things I want to show you. So this, I'm going to lift you up so you can see it. This is a poster. It's actually two posters. When they bought a double-decker bus so that you could go and tour the Queen. And you could ride the bus from downtown for a mere $1.25 to take the tour. Uh, somewhere it says 30 cents. Oh, 30 cents each way if you just want to ride the bus to there, I guess, without the actual tour. The tour, which if you get there, was $1.25. So that's kind of fun. We found that tucked inside of a scrapbook. And then I'm going to finish up with this. Well, two things. And if you know anything about Queen Mary history, maybe you can help me out because I'm not really sure what these are. So this is a sign-in sheet. It's payroll. Uh, a payroll sign-up document, I think from a copy from the uh, 1942. But what I believe this is, because you can see there's signatures on it, was that there was a reunion, I think, of soldiers who had... Um, been on the Queen during her war years, and get some better light here. Uh, I think this was a reunion, and I think they signed this pay voucher when they came in as a way of registering at the reunion. Kind of fun. Um, this is crazy. So it's kind of funny because it's a copy of a letter. Um, so it's a little tricky as to who it was written to, but the best I can figure from having read this letter, which is very difficult to read um, from the handwriting and the age, you can see it's starting to yellow, is that this gentleman, Mr. Hubner, Hubner um, was a part of the police, like kind of the FBI version of, of the FBI in Sao Paulo, Brazil, back in the 40s. And as near as I can figure from the letter, what he's saying is that the Queen Mary when she was a troop ship, uh, docked in Brazil. And before, just before she left port, um, this man and his comrades found that there was a spy in their city. And he has this funny line. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. Let me see if I can get it for you. He has this funny line here about how we couldn't figure out what kind of spy it would be because the Japanese were heavily engaged in China and Southeast Asia and the Italians prefer to eat spaghetti. So what could the Germans be interested in? So it was determined that they had a German spy in Brazil and that was interested in the Queen Mary. They found his location. They kicked in his door, I believe it says. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, Oh, I know I saw it. Um, as fast as we could get there by cars, a special group came from the something something at night, promptly kicked in the door of the suspicious house and found Christensen happily tapping away to Kiev, maybe? Um, that would be German. That would be Russia. That can't be it. Kiel? Kyle? about the queen, which was leaving the harbor. Um, delaying just long enough to inform the British naval attache by telephone, Christensen, his transmitter and files were hurried to San Paulo. Um, so the gist of what we got here was that there was a spy and the spy was about to transmit the name uh, the position of the Queen Mary to the Germans and he finishes here and if by chance your life was saved be my guest um, so again I'm assuming what he's referring to here is that if they had not stopped the spy the spy would have transmitted the location of the ship meaning I think the person who he wrote this letter to was 
a soldier on the ship, which goes with the other paperwork I found. And what he's implying was that if they had not stopped the spy, uh, forgive the sound of trash trucks outside, if they had not stopped the spy, they, the queen would have been torpedoed and possibly sunk and everyone would have been killed. Um, including the person he wrote this letter to. So that's why he says, if your life was saved, uh, be my guest, which I think is sort of a, his Spanish translation of saying, if your life was saved, um, you know, I, you're welcome. <laughs> is what I think he's trying to say. Very cool letter. Um, I, this is the first I've heard of this kind of incident. I wanted to do a little bit more homework and see if I could find anything about this. Maybe there is nothing about it. Maybe this letter is the only thing. Although he does say at the top, I can get it back here. Um, I guess the person who wrote to him, it says, your letter is most unusual. It's the first I have received on the subject. You certainly went through a lot of trouble and your interest um, so tamed for so long is warming. And he does say that he's never heard this story told or no one told the story after it happened, but then years later the BBC or somebody did a special and mentioned it. So um, I guess there is some documentation somewhere that there was a spy indeed in Brazil that was after the Queen Mary. So how cool is that? So that's what I've got to show you for this grouping. Um, like I said, this is just the tip of the, dare I say, iceberg. <laughs> We're not talking about the Titanic. Um, it is just the tip of the items that we found. There were so, so, so many. So again, if you saw anything here that you'd really need for your collection, if you're a Queen Mary fan, I'd love to hear about it. Love to hear your Queen Mary stories. If you know anything about that spy in Brazil, absolutely leave me a comment about it. Leave me a link to where I can find more information because I would love to learn more. That's one of my favorite things about thrifting and buying from estate sales and all that is it gives me a chance to research something new and exciting I didn't know about. I keep feeling like there's a book in here somewhere. I think I need to write a, um, a fiction book set in the Queen Mary back in her war days or something. So that's what I've got. Long video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I look forward to showing more to you soon.